Everyone, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. Today for this episode, we are reviewing this pack here. This is the updated review of the FILBE three day assault pack. This is a product that I've been using on my channel since I began the channel roughly eight years ago. This is an awesome piece of military surplus. And in fact, it is one of the best buys out on the market today. For roughly 50 bucks, you can pick up this pack. And what you have is an awesome three day assault kit that is made from 600D Kadura. It's made in the US and it is tough as nails. I call this pack the FILBE pack, but it's also known as the Philby. And that stands for Family of Improved Load Bearing Equipment. This pack here is part of the FILBE system. There are multiple components, including a very large rucksack, which you can find a review of here on my channel. Before we look at the functions and features of this pack, let's talk a little bit about it. This has been out on the market for a long time, since roughly 2012. That's when this hit the civilian market, namely on eBay. And that is where you will find these packs today. Finding a brand new one is virtually impossible. Finding a used one, that's easy. The prices of these packs really does vary greatly. It really depends on the condition of the pack itself. 50 bucks will get you a good condition used one. You can find those that have been ripped up, for even less roughly 20 bucks and you can find one that needs to be repaired when it comes to purchasing one of these make sure to take your time check the seller's feedback and look at the condition of the pack ask questions request pictures make sure that you're getting the condition of pack that you want also make sure that a plastic frame sheet is included with the pack i will talk about that more in just a minute the weight of this pack is around four pounds and it offers roughly 2300 cubic inches worth of space which translates to roughly 37 liters the dimensions of the pack is 20 inches by 14 by 8. And it was designed by Proper International, but made, manufactured by Eagle Industries. When it comes to the materials, you're looking at a 600D Kadura nylon. This stuff is very strong. I mean, it is extremely impressive. You have YKK zippers, which feature a rubber coating on the outside to make them more water resistant. Speaking of which, this pack is water resistant. Not waterproof, but water resistant. And thanks to all the PALS webbing on this pack, you can basically set this up for your needs. You can use it for a day hike or even an overnight trip. I've done both and it works great for both, but keep this in mind, 37 liters, that's pretty small for an overnight trip. So if you're going out for an overnight trip with this pack, you will likely have to add some pouches and your loadout will be minimal. I don't believe I've mentioned this, but this was originally designed for the United States Marine Corps and that is who it was issued to. And over the years with their use, this entire system, including this pack, has a good reputation. There were some issues with the main pack and the frame in the first couple of years, but those have been corrected. Without a doubt, this system has served the Marines very well. And for civilian use, this is going to last forever. I mean, soldiers put their gear through a whole lot more than we do. And as you can see here, this pack it's like 10 years old and it still looks great and I've carried this for hundreds and hundreds of miles you will have seen me use this pack over the years in so many different ways and it continues to rock and roll there's no issues here this pack is extremely tough and there's no doubt about that and with that being said let's just go ahead and stop for a second let's take a look at the pack and what it offers you feature wise looking at the front of the pack here let's go over the features and the functions of this pack now it should be mentioned this pouch right here this is the filbe assault pouch oftentimes when you find this pack this will not be included you will have to go out and purchase this separately and it runs around $25. So imagine the pack without this on there. Do I recommend this? Yes, I do. This is a great pouch. It offers quite a bit of capacity to this system. And because of that fact, I will go ahead and show off this pouch to you. You have two-way zips. Here are YKK zippers. There's a ton of space inside of this pouch. Perfect for a 10 by 10 tarp. You have a drainage grommet down in the bottom. You have a sleeve right here and you have a loop so you can attach keys or whatever you want. Behind this pouch, you will find a ton of PALS webbing, and that goes all the way down the sides of the pack, on the front, and so on. Going down to the secondary pocket, you have two-way zippers, you have two drainage grommets down at the bottom, you have a mesh zippered pocket, and a ton of space. Looking at the front of the pack, this is the left-hand side. You can see the zipper goes all the way down for the main compartment. But if you flip the pack over, on the right hand side, it only goes about a quarter of the way down. On both sides, you have webbing, you have two compression straps. And up here at the top, you have a Velcro port cover for hydration tubes, antennas, and so on. 
The other side of the pack is virtually the same, except for the zipper. As you can see here, you have more webbing. Now it should be mentioned, you can attach equally sized pouches on both sides of this pack. So if you wanna put a sustainment pouch on this side and on this side, you certainly can. Now folks, let's take a look here at the main pocket of this pack. I will go ahead, disconnect the top compression straps. You have two lay zippers. And what you're looking at here on the inside, you have two drainage grommets down at the bottom. You have two side sleeves for water bottles or whatever else you wanna put in there. You have a back sleeve for a three liter hydration bladder. And on the lid here, you have a mesh zippered pocket. Now everyone, you can see this zipper right here. This is very important. Now you can see this plastic frame sheet. This is something that you wanna make sure that your backpack has because this is going to make your backpack nice and stiff and comfortable to wear. Without this, this pack is substantially less comfortable, especially with a heavy loadout. So if you go out to purchase this pack used, which you likely will, make sure that it has the frame sheet. Taking a look at the back of the pack, you have a grab handle. With the shoulder harness, it is covered in webbing, and it features a fully adjustable sternum strap. At the bottom, you have quick release buckles which you can stow right here. When you are carrying the main rucksack, you can attach the assault pack to that. And that is what this is for. You take the harness system, you stow it out of the way, and then buckle the pack in with the main ruck. When you're not stowing the harness, you can use these sleeves as pockets. You have two raised sections of padding with a recess in the middle, and down below, you have a waist belt, which can also be stowed. Lastly, folks, let's take a look here at the bottom of the pack. You can see that there's some additional webbing and also two compression straps. We've gone over the stats for this pack. We've taken a look at it. Let's go ahead and move to my pros and cons for this pack because this is pretty straightforward. First off, let's talk about value. $50 for a good condition used pack made in america super strong great materials it has a great look to it as well i mean in truth you cannot go wrong with this pack in fact this is one of the best values out on the market today try to find a three-day assault pack with this type of quality for 50 bucks you can't do it take a look at mystery ranch kafaru 400 dollars. that's what it would take to get something similar to this. You can use this pack in so many different ways. It's highly versatile. You can attach all sorts of pouches and whatnot to this, and you really can make it your own system. For an example, sustainment pouches work great with this pack. You can put one on each side, another pouch right here. You can attach items on top and also on the bottom. The options here really are limitless. The value is here, there's no doubt about that. So let's talk about comfort. All in all, this is a comfortable pack. You do have to keep this in mind, folks. This is a military surplus product. And that means it was designed for utility first, comfort second. With that being said, this is a comfortable pack. Is it the most comfortable backpack you've ever worn? No. Is a civilian backpack going to be more comfortable? Yes. Is a civilian pack going to look as cool as this? Well, that's up to you. I say no. For what it is, it is comfortable. You can easily load this up with 30 pounds of gear. You can carry it comfortably. But again, it's a military surplus product. Utility first, comfort second. Again, folks, this is fairly water resistant. If you want it to be waterproof, you will need a pack cover or some sort of liner for each of the pockets. Another pro for this pack is the hydration carrier. It will easily support a three liter and it doesn't matter if it's the long or the wide, it will handle both. And when it comes to ventilation, it's adequate. And that really does take us over to the cons. Talking about ventilation and moisture control, there's not much here to really pull moisture away from your body. So if it's hot and if you're pushing yourself hard enough, you will sweat your back will get soaked, your shoulders will get soaked. You do have the depression in the center of the backpack and that does help somewhat, but in the end, that is a weak point for this pack. If it's hot and you're going hard, you will sweat and you will get wet. And the next con really is the biggest issue with this pack and it has nothing to do with this pack in general. And that is availability and condition. Finding one of these that is in really good condition is getting harder and harder. Finding a new one is just about impossible. So you really need to be careful when you go out to purchase one of these packs. Make sure to pay attention to the pictures. Make sure to read the listing, ask questions. Make sure that you get the pack that you want. Make sure that you get the condition that you want. Again, everyone, $50 will get you a good condition used pack. A pack that runs 20 bucks is going to be in rough shape. To summarize my thoughts for this pack, I tell you what, this pack is a no-brainer. It is such a good pack. The value is here. It's comfortable enough. It looks awesome. And in truth, this is still my go-to pack. I believe I said that in my review many, many years ago. Back then, this was my go-to pack, and that continues to this day. This is an excellent backpack 
that is well worth the 50 bucks. In fact, this is quite a bit cheaper, quite a bit less expensive now than it was then. I believe then it was around 150 bucks. That was the going rate. And right now, $50 gets you a good condition pack. That is well worth that money. Now folks, I wanna hear from you all. How do you all pronounce the name of this pack? Is it Philby? Sounds awful. Or is it F-I-L-B-E? Oh yeah. <laughs> I wanna hear from you all folks. What do you all think about this backpack? Do you all agree with my assessment that this is one of the best purchases out there? If you're looking for a three-day assault pack, it is hard to beat this one. It is really difficult to justify paying $400 when you have an option like this for 50 bucks. Now, of course, you want what you want. I understand that completely. Hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel, support on YouTube and Patreon, and I will see you all next time. Strength and honor, folks. See you soon.